Euro 2012, where it is the first of the semi-final days, Spain taking on their Iberian neighbour, Portugal. Jonathan Clegg joins me from Ukraine. Hey, Jonathan. Any chance? Can you hear me, Jonathan? Uh, hello, Jonathan? Yes. Ah, there you go. Um, Jonathan, any chance that Portugal has any you know, chance of winning in this against Spain? Um, well, a uh, very, very small chance, I would think. But um, yeah, I mean, it has a chance. Um, you know, uh, the sort of fascinating thing about this game is that it's um, really a, a, a sort of study in contrasts. Um, Spain, uh, the Spanish style of the short passing game is really the sort of um, embodiment of the team ethos in soccer. Whereas, uh, you know, Portugal is very much a, a, a team based around one outstanding individual talent in uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. So, um, you know, the, the, how, how those sort of teams, how that matchup shapes up, uh, will, will probably go a long way to determining who, who wins here in this first semi-final today. Well, what's interesting there, Jonathan, of course, is that Spain itself has not been playing that spectacularly. So, I mean, that might give uh, the Portuguese team at least a little bit of an edge there. Yeah, although I think that we have to differentiate here between you know, what it means by playing spectacularly and 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 playing well. Uh, Spain haven't really sort of set off any fireworks so far, but that's partly because they've controlled their games, you know, so ruthlessly and so clinically that that, that, that they've really had no uh, sort of problems and no scares from the opposition. It's a sort of Spanish style that where they control the ball for such long periods. It's sort of like almost like watching a boa constrictor devour one of its you know it, you know its prey. It, it, it sort of sucks the life out of uh, their opponents. And so it, it, even though it may not be thrilling to watch, it's not a sort of open game that, fan, that gets fans off their seats. It's um, you know it's incredibly effective and, and really you know, gives very few chances to the opposition. Jonathan. I like your analysis there. Well, the Spanish campaign has had a big impact apparently back home in Spain itself. And I spoke to David Roman in Madrid about what it would mean to the Spanish themselves if the team actually were to lift that cup on Sunday and the significance of seeing lots of Spanish flags around Spain. Paper Football, football. It's okay. it doesn't really reflect life. It has nothing to do with it, as we saw in the case of Argentina winning two World Cups at the worst possible time for the country. In the first, the first one was during a military regime. The second one was right after they lost the Falkland War, and they were in like you know very deep economic crisis. And uh, soccer didn't really prove anything. It just lifted the mood for a while, and it's been the very same case in Spain. Spain has really won the Euro Cup in 08, the World Cup in 2010, and it hasn't made any di difference to people in reality. It's just a just a sport. And that's the underlying message that we're going to see as long as the Euro Cup is, is out of the way. Uh, the, the flag is so much more evident right now that it used to be, and the significance is, uh, is, is pretty obvious because uh, Spain's flag is not, it's not commonly seen in the country because of, of the political implications. So this means something definitely. Hey, so Jonathan, uh, what about the other semi final? Um, what, what are your chances there? What are the you other betting semifinal? on? Is um, is Germany against um, Germany against Italy in, in Warsaw the following day? Um, that that, uh, that that looks to be a, a slightly less uh, close affair. Very difficult to see uh, Italy coming through that game. Italy playing that game with um, uh, you know Germany goes into the game with two days extra rest. It's been it's been uh, with its feet up for two day two additional days, whereas Italy just went through a long extra time game you know against England that ultimately went to penalties so uh, you know I think that the sort of uh, Germans will go into that game much fresher much uh, much better rested and um, you know that, that that bearing in mind that Germany's game is so much based around its sort of physical dominance it's it's, it's lightning fast players uh, it'd be very difficult for Italy to uh, to compete with that so Jonathan it does look as if you're betting very much on a Germany Spain final I guess we yep. all have to agree with you on that so this is the beginning 